Writing prompts can be very necessary to get creative energies flowing, but frequently writing groups also use existing text as study guides to writing their own practice pieces. I decided, why not combine them? So I've combed through all of the fiction books that I've read so far this year and found a quote from each one of them to serve as a writing prompt. Yeah, did you drop your ball? But if you're new here, my name is Jennifer from Watkins Through Life. Ugh, I got her ball stuck. But if you're new here, my name is Jennifer from Watkins Through Life, and I am on a challenge this year to follow 52 book prompts and countless other life prompts throughout the year. Today I'll be revealing the quotes that I found, and then over the next few weeks I'll be releasing videos with my responses to them. Now these will not be full-fledged stories, and I expect them to be far from perfect, but I do expect to enjoy the process, to have a little bit of fun, and to use this as an opportunity to regularly write something new. I need a change of pace from the big projects that I work on, and so this will be a good pace change for me. I've honestly always wanted to be part of a writer's group, and so maybe this is the first step towards me becoming regular in my habits of writing so that I can be a productive member of one. If you feel the same need for a change of direction or motivation to write, then join me. Write small excerpts for the following quotes, and then leave your writing samples in the comments of the videos to come. So here are the book quotes. In The Illustrated Band by Ray Bradbury, he writes, Long before you knew what death was, you were wishing it on someone else. Quote number two, from Incarceron by Catherine Fisher, because I have dreams and in those dreams I see the stars. Quote number three is from The Keeper of Lost Things by Ruth Hogan. A hush is a dangerous thing, silence solid and dependable, but a hush is expectant, like a pregnant pause. It invites mischief like a loose thread begging to be pulled. The next one is by Lainey Taylor in Strange the Dreamer. He believed in magic like a child, and in ghosts like a peasant. Ragnar Jonasson writes, It was as if her life had been brought to a full stop. She couldn't look forward, couldn't picture what tomorrow night would bring. It was hard to choose one from And Then There Were None by Agatha Christie, but I did decide on this one. I don't know. I don't know at all. And that's what's frightening the life out of me, to have no idea. Neverwhere by Neil Gaiman also has a lot of really good quotes and one-liners. I really liked the drama of this one, though. There was still the wreckage of that man in there somewhere. That was what made him so terrible and so sad. I am counting how the Marquis got his coat back as a separate novel. So the quote from this one is, He stopped for a moment and he thought about people and about things and about how hard it is to do anything for the first time. And finally, from The Cartographers by Ping Shepherd, Unbelievable. All these years and you still can't let it go. You have everything you want back, but you'd rather throw it all away just to beat him, to prove you were right. I tried to choose book quotes that were insightful into a certain type of character or part of a dramatic and pivotal scene. That way it'll make writing short snippets of a scene a little bit more catchy, grabby, and hopefully easier to come up with. Anyways, those are the quotes to come. Please make sure to subscribe below so that you get notified when each of these videos and their corresponding writing samples come out. And don't forget to write your own so that you can follow along with the challenge. Happy spring, everybody.